Hey, what's up guys? My name's John. Welcome to Daily Theology. The environment outside in public is heating up. Pictured here, this is the best shot of the entire thing. Um, Lee Keltner was murdered by Matt Boloff at a Patriot rally. They were heated, and there's more to this story than meets the eye, so let the facts come out in this case. However, from what I've seen before this happened, we went over to a guy, and he was wearing a Black Guns Matter shirt. So he was heated, and he was a white guy, and he was swearing and yelling at everyone, cussing and threatening to get violent. And uh, he's, he's basically, this other guy was looking for a fight. We and his friend uh, are kind of in that guy's face. He then eventually walks away, and he starts walking towards uh, Matt, and he pulls out his bear spray or pepper spray, and this is the best picture, and he shoots him from six feet away. Now, Matt could have easily walked away from this guy. Uh, he's not going to get very far with that pepper spray, and he obviously has a gun, so he could have went back, created some space, and then, um, you know, then figured out what to do next. But instead, he shot him in the head and killed him. And why I bring this up is, as a Christian, here's the response. Jesus said, what good is it if you love only those that love you? I say to you, pray for those that persecute you and do good to those that hate you. It, right now, uh, we have to remember as believers, we don't have any enemies. Our enemy is Satan and, and uh, sin. And it's very easy to let things uh, infiltrate our own hearts so that we see everyone as the enemy based on their political party or affiliations. But we have to remember that we are to love others and to display that love in a real way. Now, I'm not saying justice should be negated here. Justice will be done. The government bears the sword, and it does look like first-degree murder from all initial appearances. But we must be the peacemakers. Right now, as the nation tries to explode into violence because people cannot actually articulate their positions and ideals and their sense of justice is being violated, we must be the peacemakers and say that you first must seek peace with God, that you're a rebel against God. Your, your current position, your problem is with God himself. And unless you repent and believe the gospel, you will perish, conservative or liberal. It doesn't matter. God doesn't care as much about the political party as he does the heart. Now, I'm not saying politics don't matter. They obviously do. We want a conservative, moral, morally righteous government for the common grace and common good. But this incident shows us that uh, the human heart is evil and that God sees anger as murder. So remember, as Christians, we are to be peacemakers. So let's pray for the families of those involved and let's pray for the peace of the gospel to uh, regenerate hearts in Denver, Colorado, and across the world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hammer that like button, like the 95 Theses. God bless.